Hey, this is Brian with Castle Rock Farms. Uh, glad you're joining us today. We've got some new, relatively new residents on the farm that we need to uh, actually move out of their cages and take them outside. They're getting a little old. Um, let me bring you in closer and I'll show you what we've got. These are actually quail. This is a uh, what they call a jumbo white recessive. And then these are what they call a jumbo meat maker. These are raised specifically for eggs and meat. These guys are about just under three weeks old. As you can see, they're a little crowded. So I'm going to get them outside in a shelter and bring you guys along. This is the tractor they'll be going into. We've got to get it set up. Uh, wood chips put in it, cover put in it, water put in it, and their feeders. And let's get going. I'm going to start by putting the tarp on. It's a little windy, so this may be a little fun. These are just held on with zip ties. I like to do them one at the ridge first and then that way I can pull it tight. Front one, now the back one. Now I just start down the side and tighten it up. It's kind of important to get this tight so that the wind doesn't flap the tarp around. And I'm out of zip ties. Now on the bottom, they just get screwed in with these little screws. These are pre-made tarps, so they're just a little bigger, so I have to fold under one edge. 
And yeah, it does go through the plastic and then through the grommet. Now that I got the cover put on, I can move the tractor in to where it's going to go for the next month or so. wood chips in the bottom of them right now because we can't move them because there's no green grass for them to eat so I'll do the wood chips now more loads like that and we'll be done number two that's number three number four yep that was just right let me bring you in closer and show you the floor it's still March here in southwest Missouri and we still have a chance to get uh, some freezing weather so they have to have a, a heated water just in case makes it easier on us this filled up and put in the tractor
even though these guys are feathered out and should be fine, I'm going to put a, a heat source in for them just in case we get a snap of cold weather. The next step um, before we put the quail in is putting their feeders in. Now we use these, it's actually a glad. I believe they're family size and you can see I've just drilled two inch and a quarter holes in each side. That means eight birds can eat at a time. The quail are very wasteful to their food so this seems to be a, a good solution. They don't waste near as much food with these. So let's fill them up and Go on so we can put the quail in. feed is a game bird starter. It's about 30% protein. That's what the, the quail need to survive and they do really well on it. Okay, time for quail. They do fly.
looks like they're enjoying their house, their new home. Like I said earlier, this is our breeding stock and they will only be here for about a month or so until we're sure that the cold weather's over and then they'll go in our breeding hut. And then their offspring will actually come back out to a tractor on grass. Everything we raise to eat, <coughs> we raise on grass. <coughs> well, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that notification bell at the bottom. And we'll see you on the next video.